In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the Make Selection option in the Easy Panel. This is going to help us exposure blend and also make very fine selections on our adjustment layers. So to use Make Selection, we have to create our luminosity masks first. So I'm going to select the dark exposure and the best thing to do here is to hold down Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac and left click on this Add a Mask icon and you'll create a black mask. So unlike Apply Mask in the last video, we need a mask to be on the current layer if we're using Make Selection. But when we use Apply Mask, we don't have a mask on the layer. So I'm going to create some brights and essentially what I want to do is I want to take this darker exposure sky and blend it in to this brighter exposure where the sky is overexposed. But I don't want to affect the foreground too much and I don't want to affect these sticks because I don't want them to be darker. So if I just make my darker exposure visible and make the mask active again, I can create some bright luminosity masks. So I'm targeting the brighter areas. And now I've created those masks, I have to actually view the masks and decide which one I want to use. So Brights 1 is a very open, non-restricted mask. Brights 2 is a bit more restrictive and you see it gets more targeted towards the highlights as we move along. Now the problem here is that if we go for Brights 1, you'll see these sticks in the water are still fairly light grey in areas and so is the foreground here. But we want these areas to be much darker so that they're not affected by the exposure blending. But if we go to Brights 2, you'll see that's done a great job of making these sticks darker and the foreground darker, but now the sky's darker too. Uh, so we lose some of the selection of the sky. So if I just go to Brights 1 again, the great thing that we can do here is hold down Control and L or Command and L and you'll see a Levels dialog pop up. And we can actually shape this mask into anything we want. So I'm going to take the shadows and bring them up to make the foreground darker. And I'm going to bring the highlights along to make the sky brighter. Now we don't want it to be too contrasting, we don't want it to be like that because that just won't work. Um, we just want to make it relatively contrasting. Bring the shadows along a little bit more. And when we're done, we can press OK. And now we have a new looking mask. So to use Make Selection, we always have to have a mask selected beforehand. And then we just choose Make Selection. And now we have some marching ants. So to actually exposure blend, the first thing we do is select the mask of the darker exposure. We choose a brush. We put our opacity at 100% and we set the foreground in this occasion to white. And we press Command in H or Control in H to hide the marching ants. Now watch what happens when we paint in the darker exposure. You see we're not affecting those sticks in the foreground at all. They're completely unaffected. And the great thing is we can actually do this again. So every time we paint over, we deepen the selection we bring through more of the darker exposure. And we want to do that in the sky here, just making it a little bit darker each time. And now we can deselect the active selection by pressing Command in D or Control in D. And let's look at it before and after. So that's before and that's after. And now if we look at the mask, that's what our mask looks like. So we're affecting most of the sky, but none of the sticks. So if I remove the mask or disable the mask, you can see what the mask is doing for us. It's making sure that our foreground stays nice and well exposed. Now if you want, you can actually take your brush, choose a black foreground and set the opacity, let's say at around 40% of that brush and just paint over this bit here because I think that should be a little bit brighter along there. So now this is what our mask looks like. So here's the before and after. Now the great thing about the Make Selection option is that let's say we make a contrast adjustment like we did in the last tutorial. So we bring our shadows along just to deepen the image, bring our highlights up, so we're just making more contrast. But we realize that we are underexposing some of the darker parts of the image. Well to fix that, we can remove the darker parts of this image from that adjustment layer. So we just go to the Easy Panel, we choose our 16-bit dark option, then we cycle through the mask. So we're looking for a selection mainly of these sticks here in the foreground. So I'm going to choose a dark six. Now let's choose a dark five instead. I think this gives us a better selection. And now we can just press make selection. We can press command and H or control and H to hide the marching ants. And now I have a foreground which is black. I'm going to choose an opacity 
from my brush at 100%. And look, we're just painting out that contrast adjustment in the foreground. So we're not underexposing those areas anymore. And let's look at our mask. So that's what our mask now looks like. So if I deselect that selection by pressing Command and D or Control and D, there's the before and after for the contrast adjustment. You see we're adding great contrast to the image without underexposing any areas. And we can even deepen that a bit more if we want and we're always going to be protecting those shadows, just adding more contrast all the time. So there you go, there's the before and after. So those are two very simple ways to use the Make Selection option in the Easy Panel.